Yes, so Simon said Bloomsday by Samantha Crane was a humble tune, and it is, I agree. The last song was by Art Deco, it's called Head Rush, um, and um, I do love his style, his um, fashion style. Um, if you haven't seen him, you can see him on Duran Duran's uh, Twitter timeline. They retweeted a tweet from him thanking them for playing his song on the show, and there's a picture of him, and you can see what he looks like. Very glam, very makeup -y, very cool. So um, his voice sounds like a 70s teen idol, nuances of some Sean Cassidy vocal sounds at times. Um, I had Sean Cassidy's album Born Late on vinyl for the longest time. I wish I still did. Um, I love his stage name, Art Deco. It's spelled differently than the traditional Art Deco, A-R-T and then D-E-C-O, but that's not how he spells it. Um, I'm only going to give it two stars, but I do want to uh, check out more of his stuff just based on his um, his fashion style and his stage name, believe it or not. So um, that was it for the music. Now, a very special happy birthday to Tanner Hughes. I found out that um, his birthday was March 24th when this show aired. Um, his birthday is six days before my brother's he is an aries just like my brother fire sign like me and my brother i'm a sagittarius and so i wanted to say happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear tanner happy birthday to you and i hope you had a fun day and i'm sending you tons of love and happy birthdays and um i hope you had a fun exciting day and it was everything you wanted it to be tanner um now tanner is caddy's son just in case anybody doesn't know um so very happy birthday tanner and um today is three days later from your birthday and i hope you're still eating cake every day that you have left over because that's what i would be doing <laughs> so yay happy birthday tanner and um I think that is it for the most part, um, except that I wanted to say that they did touch on, um, oh, a, a question came in for Simon, and what it was is that the person asking the question had said that they heard uh, Billy Joel had said that um, he has played some, some songs so many times that he actually finds himself drifting off when he plays the song. Does that ever happen to Simon? Like he goes into autopilot. Simon says, no, it doesn't. But if it ever does, that is a sign that, um, it's a warning sign that you have to up your game and that, um, if it does happen to Simon, it doesn't happen within the first 30 shows of a tour and um, that he likes to stay in the moment and stay in the performance and stay in the song. And um, I loved that answer and his passion and devotion to his craft. So I wanted to highlight that. And then also another question came in um, for Simon. Somebody asked him if he would prefer as a mode of transport, boat, motorcycle, or car, I think. And he said a boat. Um, because of uh, the I forgot how he put it, but basically when you're on a boat, it brings you into this whole other 